Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Whirlwind Show, and let's get ready to struggle! Hey, I'm back. It's your boy, Whirlwind, and... Let's get into it. So this thing just recently happened to me uh, earlier this week, I think, or the weekend. Over the weekend. I believe it was over the weekend. I have to go and check the dates, but I don't really care. Let's get this going. So let's not be weird customers here. And uh, I just recently had a very weird one. Well, it was a potential customer. Potential. Potential. So one of my friends had a friend that needed a logo design. That friend of his was seeking out somebody in the expertise of graphic design. So my friend is actually connecting his friend with me. Now, mind you, my friend is acting as the middleman in between this graphic design transaction. I told my friend to go ahead and tell his friend to get me some information on what he wants for his uh, logo. His friend then asks him to ask me what my rates are. I don't go by rates or uh, standard pricing, so I ask, what is it that you're needing me to design? Bring me back full description of what you need so I can actually price it for you. My friend comes back with 17 different images and his friend asks with those images, what would you charge me for these? I then ask, I pretty much need full description in order for me to price anything. I don't do like a standardized rate. I charge by what I hear, which, would be more cost effective so since my friend was the middleman here i don't hear back from either one of them on this subject until maybe a day or two later mind you i wish my friend didn't come to me like this but my friend told me that his friend didn't want to work with me anymore because i took too long with getting him a price Okay, well, first off, you didn't tell me what you wanted. You didn't give me a description of the symbol or the name of your business, and I was seeking out that. Now, do I want to chase you? No, I'm not going to do that. If you want the job done, you come to me, you chase me, because, you know, I can go find other people that want the job done and can talk to people and give people information. Now, mind you, it was already bad that I had a friend in between everything. I should have taken initiative to be able to get his friend's information and talk to him thoroughly, but I think my friend didn't want to really uh, hinder me on someone that may he already you know, knew that was difficult. So out of all this, people, when you're a customer or trying to seek out artistic help, please give full description. It helps out and know what you want. Don't give me what you don't want, and don't just send me pictures. Yes, pictures are worth a thousand words, but this was not the way to go about it. I get a lot of customers that do these things, and it sometimes gets hard to actually uh, work with some of them. And sometimes I actually don't work with them long enough because they don't give me enough information to actually do anything. And it is like pulling teeth when you try. You know, asking a lot of questions is tiring on myself if you don't know what you're trying to do then you figure it out before you actually bother somebody on you know trying to get the work done and not knowing what the crap you're trying to do that sounds like a bad you know service on my part but it's actually very like you know common for people to want something done but not know what they want and that's time wasting on me and time wasting for you figure those things out man because it'd be much easier and helpful for me because I don't want to you know make you feel bad for me not being able to bring you a decent enough service when you didn't have your crap together sometime last year I happen to have a similar issue with a wrapper that I was actually designing an art cover for now this was another mistake of mine he just wanted he wanted to see what I could come up for him and when I did he did not like it well, first off, he never gave me any description of what he wanted. And of course, here's the thing. I did get the money first because I don't design unless I get the money first. 
There are some exceptions here and there, depending on what's going on. But 95% of the time, I usually ask for money up front. Now with this client, he was one of my friend's siblings. And this was his first rodeo with actually getting something made for him in his music production. When I recharged him for a redo, he got angry. When certain things like this happens and you end up having to cause me more trouble with redesigning and you didn't give me any real good description, mind you, mind you, I did do some of that wrong. These are all learning experiences when it comes down to new people getting into ordering art and graphic design stuff. It's tedious, but we do have to be on the realms of training them too. Long story short, my friend's brother got mad at me for charging him, you know, for more. So his brother had to come into the mix to be able to straighten things out to get all the description down packed on what he wanted to be designed. Now, this is where it made it easier. And I got it done quicker than he expected. Have I ever heard from this client again before? Nope. Because he wrote me off real quick. He didn't even want to talk to me ever again. He actually, I think he actually threatened me in the, uh, the freaking text messages. And it's a good thing that we were in two different States. <laughs> now these were just a couple of odd customers that happened to come to me and, you know, not be happy because they're new to what they were doing. And in some cases it's not their fault, but also their fault for not knowing how to make an order. It's the same way when it comes down to you ordering a fast food meal here. Make sure you give me description. Do you not want mayonnaise on your burger? Cool. Tell me that. Do you know what kind of burger you want? Big Mac? Awesome. Help me help you. So hopefully this is a little bit of a lesson to you guys and something that uh, you can take away with being able to train those that are asking you for your experience, your expertise to be able to service them. So. This is your boy Whirlwind and I am out. Wait a minute, I did that backwards. Hey, this is me trying to get everything straightened up. So, go ahead and uppercut that like button, share and subscribe. And this is your boy Whirlwind and I am out. There we go. Nailed it.